Hello everyone, we are now in from 4 additional maths chapter 2 quadratic equation and this is one of the subtopic types of roots of quadratic equation. So given a quadratic equation in the general form, if we take the value of b, a and c and put it in this way, we call this the discriminant. And the usage of the discriminant is to help us to determine the type of roots. So when we substitute the values b squared minus 4ac and if, if we get a value bigger than 0, we know that the roots of the given quadratic equation is two different roots. If we get the value equals to 0, we know that the quadratic equation has two equal roots. And if you get the value less than 0 or is negative number, it means there is no roots. So let us see how we can use the discriminant to determine the type of roots for these two equations. First, we identify the value of a, which is 2, the value of b, which is negative 7, the value of c, which is positive 9. Then, we substitute into b squared minus 4ac, the discriminant. b is negative 7, so negative 7 squared minus 4, a is 2, c is 9. So we calculate the values. We get the answer is negative 23, which is less than 0. So we know that this quadratic equation has no roots. How about this one? First, we write this, we rewrite this in general form. So x. Now b squared minus 4ac equals to negative 4 squared minus 4ac. We calculate the values, we get 0. Meaning that this given quadratic equation has two equal roots. Now we look at question number 2. The quadratic equation 2kx squared plus 4x minus 3 equals to 0 has two equal roots. So since this is a quadratic equation, we can use the discriminant to help us to find the value of k. So b squared minus 4ac is the discriminant. So before we can use the discriminant, we need to find the value of b, a, and c. So a is equals to 2k. Since this is already in general form, so we can just take the value. And given that it has two equal roots, means we know that b squared minus 4ac equals to 0, equals to 0. Okay, so from here, we try to find this value. So k has a negative value of negative 4 over 3. Question 3. Show that the quadratic equation x squared plus kx equals to 9 minus 3k has real roots for all the values of k. Okay, given the information real roots, this tells us that b squared minus 4ac is greater than or equals to 0 because real roots has two meaning. It means there are either two different roots or there are two equal roots. So real roots has these two meanings, so if we combine this, we will get this. It's either greater than or equals to zero. So since the question says show that this equation has real roots, means we want to show that the values that we get is greater than or equals to zero. How? Okay, I'll show you. So first thing, you rewrite this in general form. So if we factorize this, we'll get k, k, uh, we get negative 6, negative 6, which is actually k minus 6 squared. So you see here, for any values of k, when you square it, it is always positive. For 
all the values of k except 6. When you minus 6 and you square it, you always get a positive number. So if you get a positive number, it means that the equation has two different roots. And if k is 6, 6 minus 6, you get 0. So it means it has two equal roots. So you write a conclusion. This implies that the quadratic equation has two equal roots. When k is other values other than 6, k minus 6 squared is always positive. This implies that the discriminant, uh, the quadratic equation here, has two different roots. So this shows that for all the values of k, which is 6 or either 6, there is always real roots. Question number 4. The quadratic equation 2x times x minus 3 in brackets equals to k minus 2x has two distinct roots. Distinct here means two different roots. Find the range of values of k. So two distinct or two dis di different roots implies that b squared minus 4ac is more than 0. So first we rewrite this in general form. We substitute into this, you get k is greater than negative 2. Question number 5. Find the possible values of k if the straight line y equals to 2x plus k is a tangent to the curve y equals x squared plus x plus 1. So you see, I both a tangent. So just for example, if this curve is this curve, then the straight line, let's say the straight line, this is a straight line, which is this, is a tangent to the curve, means it only touches at one point. So the intersection point is one point here. Meaning that if you combine these two equations, you have one root. This implies that b squared minus 4ac equals to 0. Uh, if there's only one root, means both of the values of x is the same. We try to, we try to substitute the y here into this y. Okay, you see, y equals to 2x plus k. This is the equation for the straight line. y equals to x squared plus x plus 1. This is the equation of the curve. So if they meet at this point, meaning that at this point y will be equals to y, x, uh, this part will be equals to this part. So b squared minus 4sc equals to 0 here. b squared is negative 1. b over 4. We go to the last question. The straight line y equals to 5x minus 1 does not intersect the curve y equals to 2x squared plus x plus p, find the range of the values of p. So if these two line, the straight line and the curve, does not intersect, means when you combine this, you have no roots. Does not intersect implies no roots. No roots implies the discriminant is less than 
0. So here, y equals to 5x minus 1, y equals to 2x squared plus x plus p. Less than 0. So that's all. Thank you for watching.